Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am coming on here with a very interesting haul today. I, disclaimer first, if you do not like Halloween or you're gonna be annoyed that it's only the first week of August and I'm talking about Halloween, go ahead and skip this video. Because I'm a Halloween and Christmas nut. Like, it's my favorite time of year. My birthday is, like, around the holidays and stuff. So, I'm a nut about it. So, quick story. I was watching Pretty and Flawed's video um, last week. I, she posts a lot of videos. so um, But she posted a particular video about the um, Disney makeup brushes at um, 99 Cent Store. And I had went to another 99 cent store, like, across town, because I happened to be out that way. Well, I didn't find them. And I was feeling a little discouraged. But then I went to the one that's closer to my house. And boom. I was able to find all four. And they had quite a bit left, guys. So if you're looking for these, let me know. If you want me to pick them up, um, it would be $4 plus $3 shipped. Because <clears throat> I think... Um, that would be the cheapest way to ship them, is just in a bubble envelope. So, um, sorry, I'm just removing a few things from these <clears throat> bags. But, um, yeah, I'm so excited. And she showed a detailed video on um, these, but uh, I'll link it below if you want a better close-up of these. But uh, these are adorable, and I'm a huge Disney nut as well. Um, so I went ahead and picked up one of each, but if you guys are desperately looking for them and want them, I would pick them up at cost plus $3 shipping. So let me know if anybody needs them and, um, that offer will be open for like the next week. Uh, but then after that, I'm not going to be able to do it anymore because I have a feeling they're going to be gone. But even the packaging is like super cute and I don't think my camera oh hi <laughs> I don't think my camera will pick it up but there's like um designs for each princess on the sides it's just really cute and one of the sets is pretty much the same I think it's the jasmine and the Mulan set but the brushes are pretty and they're gonna look nice on my vanity so oh, almost lost my tripod there okay so that's those I was happy to do those but then my friend and I were just today on the 2nd of August at work talking about our Halloween party that's coming up because we usually kind of organize the parties and things like that. So we were talking about it because we kind of just wanted to nail down a theme because there's going to be some bigger stuff happening at work and so on and so forth that's going to distract us for a while and we won't be able to talk about it again probably until, you know, getting close to the last minute because we're just going to be so preoccupied with other work-related projects and so on and so forth. So uh, we were talking about it today and we had decided um, maybe a week or two ago we wanted to go with a mad science lab theme. So let me just start hauling here and show you and I'll kind of explain my mindset behind some of the things. Um, first a couple non-related things. <clears throat> um, they have some really good stuff at 99 cent store. I haven't been there in quite a long time, so I was pretty impressed. Um, I brought, I bought this little selfie uh, lens kit. I just thought it was cute, and it's pink, so of course. So this was 99 cents, and I'm just going to try it out. If I don't like it, I'll just give it to one of my little cousins or something. But I just thought since I'll be doing lots of that memory planning soon in a couple days when those memory planners come out, I'm so excited, um, I'll give this a try to do some interesting effects on my photos and such. Um, and I think after this it's pretty much all Halloween stuff so turn away now if you don't want to see. Um, but I grabbed these little packs of the floral beads. I've been wanting to play with these water beads and I did not want to pay the prices online. So there's just a couple little um, domes with some beads in it and I also thought these little dome things if I can salvage them would be cute to add little shaker elements to some cards so I'm gonna try to recycle those but um I just thought I'd test these out just on a totally unrelated note I just kinda wanna play with them I don't I don't have plants or anything cuz I I can't keep a plant uh, so <laughs> it's totally unrelated but I'm kind of a weirdo um okay so 
with our Mad Scientist Lab theme, I looked in the crafting section at the 99 cent store there, and it's like banging. They have so much cute stuff there now, and uh, you know, some of the stuff isn't 99 cents anymore. It's like $1.99, $2.99. They even had some really like awesome looking paintings for like $7.99. Like they have some really cute just decor and all kinds of stuff. You'll have to go and check it out if you have one near you. But I found these little like, um, this one's actually open. They look like kind of little, little pill bottles and the cap screws off. You can use these for like craft storage or whatever. I won't be using those for that. I think I'm going to use these um, in the Mad Science Lab table that we're going to set up for the party. And I just thought, you know, six for a buck, it's, it's not bad. And I believe everything I bought was 99 cents, so just keep that in mind. There's some cool stuff. So I bought one pack of those just to see. And if I don't end up using them for that, maybe I'll use them to store some sequins or whatever. The next thing I bought is not for the Mad Science Lab, but it's just something cute that I liked for myself. It's just this little ceramic pumpkin with this cute ribbon, and uh, it's glass. It's nice. So, 99 cents, and I like the polka dots with the orange. It's super cute. It's not coming across very orange on camera because it's really dark outside. I even have both my windows open, and it's just, it's going to storm later, so... That's that. So that's just for me. Something little for my desk or whatever. Okay. So now let's talk about science lab stuff. Alright. So these are all four of the available designs that I saw at my store. Uh, if there are more, let me know because I'll go on the hunt. I'll go looking because these blew my mind. I wasn't expecting to find anything like this in the stores because I was under the impression I'd have to go online to find such things. These are plastic, like a harder plastic. So these are beakers, and I love that they have the little lip, like you're going to pour or something. Um, you could use these as cups, like for party. That would be cute to stick a little straw in it and drink out of them. But this one, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it says Witch's Brew on it in white uh, vinyl. It's super cute. So one purple. The clear one has a black skeleton that says eek. So that's cute. The red one, it's a little, it might be a little inappropriate for work, but I'm going to go for it and just hope nobody like reads too much into it or cares. But um, this one says here for the booze, B-O-O-S. <laughs> that one's like a reddish color. And then this one. I think might be my favorite one out of, well, maybe next to the witches one, but this one says spider venom, and it's like that really yucky green color. It might come across yellow on camera, but it's a really cool, like, greenish, yellowish color. So these are all plastic, all 99 cents. Sorry, that was my phone. <laughs> Forgot to turn off the volume. Give me one second while I take care of that. All right, sorry about that, guys. Okay, let's also talk about something else I thought I was gonna have to buy online. Yeah, these, okay, so just for redundant sake, I bought five packs of these. So I'm not gonna, actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, actually about six, six packs of that. So we won't drag all those out because that is just silly. I'll just take out the rest of the stuff from this bag. So I bought six packs because I wasn't sure how many people are really going to be there. I just wanted to have enough. So, so uh, yeah. So I end up with like, what, 20? Yeah, 24. So six times four. So these are the syringe shots. And I am blown away that they had them because I was looking at prices of these online already. And... I want to say for just a couple of them, it was like a couple dollars, like maybe two. And I hadn't done too much searching yet. I was just kind of in the preliminary, like researching how much is, you know, everything going to cost. So I could let my boss know and make sure it was all good. But um, this is just super cool. So again, about six packs of these. So you can pull the plunger up and fill the inside with shots. Um, 
I might go buy an extra pack and just do a test on Jello inside it because I really want to do Jello in here. I think that would be cool, but I don't know how it all works. I've seen some Pinterest pins about it and stuff, so if not, we'll just fill it with like whatever drink we're doing, and that would be kind of cool to do. Um, and these these are just a good size. They're actually pretty wide. They're not like the thin ones that I was looking at on eBay. And I don't know if you can see them, but they're just standard looking. So I'm super, super excited. That's going to definitely be like one of those conversation pieces. Um, I also had been waiting for Dollar Tree to put theirs out because Dollar Tree carries these skeletons. Well, at least the last couple years, I think they have. Um on the string because we're also going to do like we usually um, you know some sort of costume related contest or you know just something like that um, so we're gonna actually my friend and I are gonna take these off of the string and we're gonna put these little guys on little tiny wooden pedestals and make little trophies out of them so there'll be five trophies and uh, we might repaint them something we don't know we might just leave them but we'll decorate them a little bit so it'll be like prettiest costume scariest costume most original costume you know so just stuff like that and then everybody at the work party will vote and these guys are super detailed for you know just these tiny little skeletons the distressing on them is really good and stuff so um, we may just leave them as is because they're kind of cool so that's those. I just got the one pack. Let's see. I'm running out of room already. Okay. We still got a lot to go. So let me move some stuff here. All right. So these you might not be able to see, um, but this is uh, a pack of cockroaches. There's 12 in here. They're just little plastic bugs. And I just thought for however, you know, over the table, um, stuff like that. And I also thought maybe we'll put a few in these little jars you know just to with some really gnarly looking liquids or whatever just to see how it'll look and just to give it that vibe so this is a good buy you get a lot of them in there for a dollar and I also found uh, this pack which has what looks like a spider a cockroach a centipede a scorpion a fly and you know just that sort of stuff and I don't know if you'll be able to really see it but they're just these little plastic bugs so nothing really exciting to see then I got one more pack of like those little creatures I got these black snakes there's quite a bit in here um, they're just these little like rubbery black snakes they're actually not like as cheapy plastic as the other ones they're actually pretty good quality so you might be able to save these and use them again so just some creepy crawlies for the table to kind of just use as like scatter or whatever the next thing I found, I was just shocked because I had been trying to find one of these when I did my brother's Harry Potter party, and lo and behold, I found this plastic, it's plastic, but it was 99 cents. Um, so it's a cage, and the cage measures 9.75 inches by 5.5 inches, if you needed to know. Um, it does come apart, but you have to pull these little tabs open so you can put something in it. I do plan to put something in it, which you'll see in a second. Um, but I like that it has a hanger at the top, so you can hang it from the ceiling if you want. And um, it's a good, it's a good height, as you can see. So, um, yeah, we're gonna hang this from the ceiling, maybe, or just leave it on the table as like part of the decoration. So, when I get to the thing I'm going to put inside it. I'll remind you again in case you're wondering. Um, let's see. Sorry about all the bag rattling and stuff. Oop, I can't show this thing because it's for a friend's birthday coming up. I actually found just a cute little mug for my friend, so don't worry. I didn't buy her anything like dumb or anything. <laughs> but, uh, the cute little mug reminded me of her. Look at this cool skeleton hand. So it's like, it's flat, so you can set something. And I actually had this sitting like this in my cart, <laughs> which I thought was cute. Um, they had a couple different poses, and this is actually pretty heavy. And I, I just flabbergasted how this could cost a dollar. So um, I don't know if you could tell, like the hand, the fingers curve up a little. Um, so it looks like it's really holding something. This would be cute as just a paperweight, but I'm going to find something to put in the hand. I just think that would be so cool 
on that table and um I plan to keep this for myself after Halloween too because I just like this so much um and I might paint it more white so it looks like Jack Skellington's hand but it's like a beige-ish um but the shading on it's really awesome and like I said it, it's a good weight so it's a nice little piece so I'm gonna stick that over there just so the fingers don't snap off the bad part is is gonna be redoing all this stuff repacking it all up and putting it away before my husband gets home because he will throw a fit so let's see well I don't know where the other one is but I got two of these and these were not in the Halloween section I just want to point out so it's just a black uh, like little vase and I kind of liked the or almost not really ornate but it, it just seemed like something you might see on a Halloween table it's just kind of got some curved edges and it's just black so I did get two of these and um, I also picked up two of these e each color I got two so I got I won't show them both but I got one two purple and two green and there's just some sparkly pumpkins with the uh, purple roses and black roses, black leaves, sorry, black leaves. And then um, like a, a spider, I don't know if you can see it. So those are all glittery and stuff, so it's really cool. It looks a lot better in person. I know my camera's not the best, but um, so I got two vases and then two sets of each of the flowers, so I plan to just put them on the table. I might go back. They had some larger um, flowers and stuff in different colors. Like they had a big orange rose, but I just thought just throw, slapping that together like that would just be cool and it would just add a little bit more um, color to the scientist lab and it could just be like a little, you know, extra decor so you can kind of see how that looks. And I'll just turn it so you can see the other color. But, yeah, I don't know, I might play with it a little bit and just, maybe I'll add something else to it. But for now, I like the way that looks. It's simple and, you know, it doesn't take much effort for us to reset it up or anything. Um, there's some more. There's a lot of, like, glass delicate stuff. So, this stuff's really wrapped, so I apologize and hope you're bearing with me through this. Okay, let's leave these three little things for next. Let's show you these cool. Uh, these are light, right along the lines of those um, beakers. I found this super, this is glass now. Look at this label on this and how perfect this is for a party like that. So it says dried bat wings and it even has the little like cork stopper. This is an exceptional value you will not find a better value. I, I'm telling you, this is just for decor, easy. You don't have to make your own labels. I actually went and bought a couple just plain like bottles at Goodwill the other day. And um, they're going to look good kind of mixed in with the ones with the labels. But for those blank ones, I'll have to make my own labels. So, And I paid more than a dollar for some of them. So this is an exceptional buy. I'm so, can you tell how excited I am? I know it's dumb to some of you. It's going to be so dumb and you're not going to be able to understand, but when I find stuff that works for what I need it for, I'm just over the moon, especially when it's already made because I really don't have time always to make everything. <coughs> Sorry, but um, this one is really cool. That last one was a darker purple. This one is like an orangish. It says Eye of Newt, and it's the taller bottle. So side by side, you can see this one's like a short, wide one. And then you got your taller bottle. I think I got one more. I just haven't got to it yet. So that's that. And I think they had each one with each label and size and a couple different colors too. But I didn't want any repeating um, colors or labels. I just wanted to make it look really like... Uh, Lots of variety. Let me see what else. There's the other vase. Okay. Maybe I did only get two of the glass ones because I, I don't see the other one. Yeah, I think maybe I did only get two of those. Um, 
let's do this guy real fast. He's heavy. This is like a raven. Okay, sorry, I'm back. My camera decided to stop recording for whatever reason, so I was about to show you this super heavy, awesome uh, guy. He was 99 cents, I believe. Yeah, everything I bought was 99 cents. So he's like a raven skeleton guy, and he is, like I said, heavy of good quality, and uh, he is what I plan on putting in that cage, which is pretty awesome. So we may end up not hanging it because he is pretty heavy. Um, we may just end up putting it on the table, but I thought this guy is super cool. And uh, I just like the little skeleton details on him. So he was a great buy also for 99 cents. Also, I think I only have a couple things left maybe. Yeah. So we're almost to the end, guys. Thanks for holding on. It's, this video is over 20 minutes long, I think. So um, let me just open all three because they kind of go together. So these were each 99 cents. But I thought they would be cute on the table. And I may end up keeping these for myself also because I just think they're a cute little... Ooh, hope I didn't just break that one. They're a cute little piece. Uh, you could kind of put them wherever so we have these three and they're essentially the same the wings I just noticed on the bird on this one are a little bit different so the wings are more out but the skeleton is saying speak no evil and this one is saying hear no evil covering his ears and this one is saying ah, yeah he's I guess he, he must be saying see no evil so I made sure to get all three and the fallout of this glitter is bad um, so I'm hoping that some uh, hairspray will help combat that because I don't want glitter all over our beautiful food creations when we get to that um, so I'm going to just move these out of the way because I think I have maybe one or two more things. Oh, maybe just one. I also found this plastic um, cauldron. It's simple. It's nothing crazy. Um, it's not very big, but it measures 8.06 by 8.25 by 6.19 inches. So if you're looking, you know, for a certain size or whatever, um, it's just standard black. It has a good little handle on it. I like that it's a little more shiny black or, you know, not matte. Um, so this we might just put some candy on the table or uh, we might put the dry ice in here. We'll have to figure that out uh, later. But guys, thanks so much for checking out my haul. I plan to do a lot of other little side projects and craft projects for uh, this party and we're going to be making some sort of potions to go in some of these bottles and then uh, some of the plain ones I bought at Goodwill we're going to be doing that um, so if I can I'll try to film that but it's just not always practical for me to film that sort of stuff because you know I'm usually doing it at the last minute just need to hurry and get it done but I hope you liked everything you saw and I hope you'll be inspired to maybe uh, start thinking ahead to the seasons coming up and if you're gonna have a party what pa kind of party check Pinterest check the check Google <laughs> check everywhere there's also a good site called catchmyparty.com you should check that out as well for some good ideas and uh, I hope I'll see you in the next video if you haven't already and you enjoyed my video please subscribe I'll be hopefully soon showing off my new happy planner memory planner um, I can't wait to do that. I've been playing with my uh, HP Sprocket printer, so you'll hopefully be seeing that in some of my videos very soon. Hope you have a good day, and thanks for watching. Bye.